G'day, it's Dan from the forums here and we're going to do another extension tutorial today. Somebody on Discord was asking how to add sanity check fields so that you could roll checks and saves against sanity off the 5e character sheet. These are supposed to work the same way that your attributes do, like strength, intelligence, charisma, and you double click on it and it either does a check roll or a save roll. And it uses the actual ability scores as a modifier for those. They've drawn a quick little graphic here of what they wanted to do. I wanted to add these right at the bottom of the existing ones. You can see there's actually some space on the existing 5e character sheet to do this. What I did was unpack a copy of the 5e rule set and I unpacked it into the rule sets folder so that this copy would get used anytime we're loading up the new campaign, providing that we load the campaign after we've unpacked this rule set. And this is a clean version of the current beta rule set 3.3.6. I've created a new extension.xml file in an extension folder. So under extensions, I created a folder called 5 e Sanity and an extension.xml. We can see I've given it the basic attributes. And I've included just a single file at the moment, which is called graphics, graphics underscore icons XML, and that just uh, includes the logo that will display with this particular extension. I'm going to now create a brand new campaign, and it's important to load, create the campaign after we've got the unpacked 5e rule set. So the campaign name 5e Sanity, I've selected the 5e rule set, and you can see on the right hand side, because we've got the, the extension the XML in our new extension, that it displays as an available extension, so I've checked the 5e Sanity check. I fire up the new campaign and we can see the character sheet here is as normal and we can also see in the chat window that the extension has been loaded. I'm going through and I know that the character sheet for this, uh, the character sheet that we're going to edit is in a file called record car main. We can see some of the other ones there, inventory, actions, logs, notes, skills. The one we're dealing with today is record car main. So we're going to open that up. And have a look at what's in there. Actually, we're going to copy the whole file into our extension. And we're going to include that file in our extension. And then we're going to start editing that file because we don't want to duplicate the whole file if we don't need to. The more things that we put into the extension, the more of JPG source code that we put into the extension, the more things can break as the base rule system evolves and changes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find this window class name equals car sheet main and we're going to merge the changes that we're putting into the extension into the base one. So merge equals join. And then we're going to start selecting the existing data and deleting it. So anything that's not required, anything that we're not modifying, updating, editing, we're going to start removing. So I'm going to remove out the script file and we get down to the sheet data, and that's where um, our actual GUI XML definitions are, are being displayed. So we're going to, again, merge equals join on the sheet data, because we're not going to replace the whole thing. And then again, we're going to start selecting big chunks of this content to remove out of our extension file. We don't need them. We're not changing into this particular content, so let's not include it in the extension file. Now, we can see that our ability checks uh, have a number of different sections. We've got number, car, ability score, label ability score, a name, and then a string ability mod text. And if we were to scroll down, we would see the same for strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. So we basically going to select all of those and remove them. We're going to leave charisma in there, which is the last one, because these are anchored to the previous one. So we're going to keep Charisma in here and we're going to anchor Sanity to Charisma. Now it's quite possible this would work if we... Um, sorry, these are not anchored to the previous one. These are actually relatively anchored. So we have to leave the previous one in here so that uh, the Sanity can anchor itself to the previous entry which was Charisma. And Charisma is part of the original definition so it's already got its anchoring in place. And so we're duplicating the half a dozen lines that are, are there for Charisma 
and we're going to start renaming the charisma fields as sanity. So we've got the name, the source, the target, and we go through. And we can see that it's two different types of naming. We've got sanity, all lowercase, and we've also got the text resource, which is a san in uppercase. Make sure you get all of those and you modify them correctly. If we then reload our campaign, we will now see on the left hand side we've got a new uh, ability check field, ability stat box, and it doesn't however have the initials SAN as it's required. However, it's displayed in the right spot, it has the right sort of format. So what we then found is we looked up the 5e strings, because that's where these were stored, and we found the strings for charisma, and we've duplicated them, and so there was the full one charisma, charisma, and that's for localization into different languages, and then there's also the short one, san, and that would stay the same, I imagine, in, in most languages, however, it, it may not. Now, we've got string name equals san, san, if you're going to change any of these for localization, you only change the stuff inside the angle brackets. The parts where it's coded name, they're required because they're being resourced in other part, referenced in other parts of the code. So we also have to add these strings 5e sanity into our extension.xml. And that way it gets loaded when our extension gets loaded. Now when we reload the campaign file again, we can see that the san text has been correctly inputted into our character sheet. However, when we set our SAN to a score that has a modifier on it, such as at the moment it's 14, it's got a modifier of plus 2. When we're rolling it, we're not getting the modifier applied. Whereas if I double click on Wisdom, we do see the modifier being applied. So there's something else going on here. But for the moment, we're going to continue working in the XML and get the saves side of it running. Uh, we head further down the record car main and we locate again the appropriate fields and we can see we've got number car ability save button save prof label car defense and we grab all of those and we're going to duplicate those for sanity and get rid of all of the other ones except for charisma because again we don't want to leave any excess stuff in here if we can avoid it and now we can see that after a reload that the sanity box is also displayed on the save side but once again, when we double click it, it's not performing exactly the same as the other ones. If I double click on Wisdom, I get a plus two modifier. If I double click on San, I'm not getting a modifier. However, the rest of the display is correct. It's showing a save or a check and it's rolling the dice. It's also displaying the correct attribute name, Sanity. So we start, we're gonna finish cleaning up the record car main now and we're gonna keep uh, selecting text to delete and we're going to go right down to the end of the sheet data but we need to keep the closing tags for sheet data and the closing tags for the window class we remove everything in between those and then we're going to remove the other window classes that are shown on this file such as car sheet census combat car sheet hd and car sheet classes car sheet class car sheet combat calc car sheet health calc Get rid of all of those, and once again, make sure you leave the closing root tag. Now I'm going to start doing some find in files because I need to understand why my modifiers are not being appropriately applied to these roles. And I'm going to use wisdom. I don't think wisdom is a word that's going to show up too many times other than in reference to the wisdom attribute. So I'm doing a find in files using my text editor and I'm doing it in the Unpacked 5e rule set. And when I do that, I get a bunch of different uh, files that are displayed. And in particular, one of them was the Manager Actor 2 in the 5e rule set in the scripts folder. So again, once I have made my way through this file and determined that that's a file that I want to change, I'm going to grab that file, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to put it into my extension. In this case, I've renamed it similar to the strings file of attack to underscore sanity on the end of it. And when I look at this file, 
I found that there's a particular I've, I've done various searches because um, what I was looking for initially didn't work and I can see here that this is the math that determines the modifier so we can see that uh, a 14 minus 10 is 4 divided by 2 is 2 which would give us our bonus if we had an attribute score of 6 6 minus 10 is minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2 so if you had an attribute score of 6 you get a minus 2 on your ability rolls and that's the math formula that's doing it we can see that that is called ability mod or and we can also see it's using the s ability variable here and we're going to see that that crops up again later on further down in our manager actor 2 i can see that we've got the definitions of all of our or we we can see here where it's loading up strength dexterity constitution intelligence wisdom and charisma as um s short variables and we don't have one here for sanity so i've added one in for sanity else if s short equals san then n stat score equals db get value node actor ability sanity score and this again is another piece of the puzzle and when we do this now and I roll my sanity. I'm getting a plus 14. That's not right. Roll wisdom, I get a plus 2. Okay, so it looks like at the moment that my rolls are adding the whole score as a modifier. So I rolled a 12 and that's adding 14, which is actually my actual score. It should only be adding 2. I rolled an 18, that's added 14, the actual score, not the modifier 2. However, when I roll wisdom, or the six and I get a plus two which is the the correct result so that's where I think where that math came in that uh, divided by ten uh, sorry minus ten divided by two so something else is is going on in here I look in my db.xml and I have a look for that number 14 and again the only place I find 14 is against wisdom and sanity uh, and in the actual values it's not stored somewhere else in there that it's grabbing I can see the bonus and save uh, modifiers they've been correctly calculated and they're the ones it should be doing so something in that manager actor 2 Lua is not able to associate that formula with the actual it's not able to act to associate the bonus with that uh, role it's using the number so there must be something in that uh, Lua script that's saying a particular types of roles apply the bonus and other roles apply the number and we find further on when we do that we're having a look back at that that file and we can see where we've got s ability and we've also got s short so working through all of those again it's the s short equals san that i think is not being found where is san being defined because we haven't defined san anywhere else before remember in our uh strings file we had sanity and we had san in uppercase we never had any lowercase definitions of san so somewhere we've got to do it again a find in file and maybe search for wis wis in lowercase do a find in files for that and we find that that was stored in the 5e strings. We missed one particular short reference. So there's another name, string name equals san, lowercase, and then san in title case. So I've added that back in on the strings file. And I've also found a file called data common lua. And I can see that strength uh, all of my attributes are listed here and they've got them in the various permutations so all in lowercase uh, lowercase with their short uppercase abbreviations and the reverse and those correlations so again I'm going to copy the data common Lua and I'm going to put it into my extension again I'm just going to append underscore sanity to it just for my benefit and this is a Lua file Lua files we generally have to copy a lot more things 
when we copy these files into our extension. So I have to copy the whole file, but we're only making very small edits to the start of this file. So I've added sanity. I've added sanity equals san, and san equals sanity to these. When you're doing these, take note of where the commas are. So there was no comma after charisma, and now there's a comma after charisma, just to, to get those to load correctly. And we save that, and uh, we see the s short equals san again. And we include the script. So we've included data common, which is our data common sanity script file. We've included actor manager 2 as our script manager actor 2 sanity file. Where did I get those names data common and actor manager 2? I got those from base.xml in the core RPG file. So keep those same names because they call that way. If it's running a function and the function might be referenced as data common dot function or actor manager 2 dot function 7 or actor manager 2 dot get attribute check whatever the function name was was called but the actor manager 2 tells it when to call this particular script file and then when we reload the script one more time we can see that the when I double click on sanity either in the abilities check or the saves check that the correct modifier is being applied here I've, I've increased the attribute score to 20 just to give me some variation just to do a coding sanity check to make sure that uh, different things were adjusting as though we were doing them and they are correctly so the big takeout from this one is keep using your finding files you might have to go down a few rabbit holes maybe quite a few rabbit holes before you find what you're trying to look for what I was doing when I was editing these files in the first instance was edit them in the base rule set and just hit reload. And that way I don't have to copy them into my extension, edit them, link them, find out it's the wrong file or it's not doing what I expect. Edit it in the extension. If it doesn't do the desired effect and I can rule it out, back out the, the changes and copy that through again. And then once you've determine the exact files that you are editing then you can copy those files into the extension link them into the extension.xml rename them if required and back the changes out of your 5e rule set and that way it's not going to impact them or double up or, or cause unintended uh, effects in campaigns that you're running that don't use this particular extension use finding files uh, copy as little over as you can into your extension file. Um, Lua is a bit different. You have to copy the, the whole file in, in many cases, but always try and keep the same syntax and the same file hierarchy as JPG has done with his rule sets. It'll help other people understand your code. It'll also help you when you come back to it, understand why a file is in a particular place and you can see it match back to the base rule set. I look forward to seeing some of the extensions that you guys come up with. Thanks for listening.